Hello guys, it's Hampus here. Uh, I'm the IGL for Bleed Esports and today I'm gonna do a Zoe round review of my 1v3 against a Danish team. Uh, looks like we start a default, like a 2-1-2, 1-2-2, whatever. Bloodman was my B player, so I, I have to support him out to get short. And then I'm just holding the ground a bit here. Zerk dies entry very fast here, so we 4v5 like in the beginning of the round. Which is not ideal on T-side overpass, it's a very hard map when you're 4v5 as T-side. But here you can see me looking around, I call everyone back to B, because I'm thinking like they killed Zerk, so they know we have no AWP, so... Also because we have no AWP, it's kind of hard to go A. So I, you know, we called him back. Uh, or I call them back because like, it's easier to go B than to go A, 4v5 in my opinion, especially when we no up and we have no space. And here we're kind of lucky that they push Vladan and he gets the kill. But they sandwiched, so it was the plan from them. So even though we got the one kill, Kabi came and got the double kill. So now me and Cypher here is in a 2v3. And I hear this door guy rush away. So I'm still, you know, kind of considering door because like he could easily, you know, just fake and just play this position or like stay in some corner or whatever, you know. So I'm kind of aware of it, but I also know like he could run around and take all this, or he could also join here. Um, and, uh, yeah, me and Kai, or me and Cypher, we're going in B. We should we were expecting them to be both here. Kai dies from the up, I insta peek to trade, I don't see him. So I'm assuming he will still be left side heaven, so when I come here, he's not there, then I know he's lower. I pre-fire it, I kill him. And now as well, like you saw me look towards wood, because I don't know where the guy on B is, but he shot, so he gave me the information. And also, like, I knew the guy was door before, but since I killed Lucky and he didn't move, and especially now when I run back here, like, now the door guy should kill me if he's door, so he's, he went back to CT or he went T-spawn. I know it 100%. And then when I hear this guy go back because of the fake, then I am assuming he's not CT, because then that guy will just go away and this guy will stay B, the, the Mr. guy. So I'm kind of expecting him to come monster. And now when I plant, I'm obviously afraid of the Mr. guy, but yeah, here that the monster guy is, I kill him. And then now in a 1v1 against Mr. He has 1-7. I have 11 kills, so I have 10 more kills than him. So I'm feeling I'm feeling very good in this clutch. Like I, I know I will win it if I don't troll. So I'm just waiting for him to make the play. He taps the bomb. And because he has 1-7, I, I, I'm thinking he is, you know... Like, because he is 1-7, I'm thinking he, he will just stick the bomb because he you know he will lose the fight. And that's why I run in, but... I had a good game, he had a bad game, so I just ran in and yeah, I got the insta headshot on him as you saw. And that's how you clutch a 1 on 3 against a Danish team. Uh, okay guys, so that was my Zoe round review of uh, my 1v3 against a Danish team. I hope you learned something and if not, make your own and teach me how to play. Bye bye!